Hello and welcome. My name is Fred Weaver. This is my business partner, Kevin Kaufman. We're Group 4610, and thank you so much for watching our video blog today. We're going to cover a uh, very important topic out there in the short sale world, if you will, around taxes. Taxes are a big concern for a lot of homeowners yeah. who are facing the fear of losing their home or potentially doing a short sale. Yeah, so as you mentioned, it's a question asked by pretty much everybody who's considering a short sale. But what about the tax situation? What about the tax consequences? As, as we all know, anytime there's a certain amount of debt forgiven, whether it be from a home or a credit card or anything like that, debt forgiven, if the amount is over $600, there's a 1099 issue. And when you have a 1099, that is the tax document. It's like, it's like receiving that income. And so that is a potential, I don't want to say problem, but it's an issue for homeowners who are considering a short sale or who go through foreclosure. Anytime there's any sort of debt forgiven, there is a 1099 issue. The most important thing I, I want you to know, and we'll give you a lot more information if you fill out the form here on this website and contact us and allow us to have a consultation with you, but the most important thing I want you to know is it is possible to do a short sale and avoid paying any taxes whatsoever. There are two, dip, two, two very, very specific routes, uh, and I, we won't go into them right now, but the Mortgage Debt Relief Forgiveness Act and insolvency or form 982 those are your two biggest obstacles for uh or not obstacles but two biggest ways to avoid paying those taxes that you would get via a short sale so contact us today allow myself fred or a member of our team to consult with you on your short sale situation and your possible tax situation and let us show you how we can help yep thanks so much for joining us have a great day